Good morning, guys. So Shantin here, how are you? Look at this behind me. I have added the middle section to this build and it looks quite incredible. Um, the roof on the left needs a little bit of work. It's not quite where I want it. Um, and the section obviously in the middle does not lend itself easily to uh, various things, but nonetheless, this is a great step forwards. There's just a little bit of detail. Um, let me turn around and get F1 on. Can you see, it's like, oh, I've turned it off. I keep forgetting that it's uh, in this iteration. Um, where the issue is, is around here and here. Um, and that just needs a little bit of sorting out. Uh, but that is easily done and not a problem. Um, I haven't yet decided um, whether I want the roof here I think looks absolutely phenomenal if you look at the way that these pillars come up and then they carve in under the roof. That's a very, very good effect. Um, this roof is flat and these are the shutters that you would have uh, in obviously hot countries. Now guys, if I put carpet on top of bookcases would it stop the magic going through? Quick question, I don't know. Again, I like that roof. I think the detailing is coming together. Um, I have stayed a lot in Spain and there's one particular house that I'm very familiar with, not that I've stayed in it, um, but the it has, in fact, it's very similar to what I've built here. It has a house structure here and then at the other end it has a house structure but in the middle it has a series of Moorish arches and the sea laps up and they have these wonderful shutters and it's just fantastic fantastic house. Um, the site doesn't lead itself to building it uh, exactly the same but it's really nice. Now over here guys I have my twin sunset towers can you see where my cursor is? I wanted a bridge between them. Anything I built just cut off the, the shape of the sea against the land too much. So we have a blue glass bridge running along there, which I like very much. Um, this tower, I want to build up another story. And if I come down here, you can see that I have laid out Hello, good morning, Mob Farm. I have laid out a tower on the end and the sand machine is already paying off because I'm starting to get more detailing in. Um, obviously, the, the basic um, clay blocks don't give you the detail you need. So I'm running around here. Um, we'll come down here. I want to try... David's very keen that we should all give ourselves a uh, colour and a line that runs towards our portals. Now, I'm having real problems with these portals, so let's go in and see if we can get through. It's real sort of hold your breath, are you going to come out the other side stuff? Look at the lag I'm getting. And believe me, there's not much lag on the server. Here we are, good. Now, I want to have a look. I think that people have taken over various colours. Um, so the magenta line is the portal. The pink line is David and Bella. So any coloured lines? The green line is JK. Oh, that's where you are. Aha, I'm coming to find you. <laughs> So I'm going to take over blue. This is not a cheap colour. Ah, I have forgotten to make it into concrete, but that's not an issue, I don't think. Let me think about where the best place to do this would be. I'm in the nether. I can't put, I cannot put water down in the nether. 
I was just about to try and explode myself, doing something truly crazy. So let's go back to our base, holding the breath. Come on. Wow. <laughs> Now I'm back again, and this is the issue I'm getting with these portals all the time. Um, worrying is the understatement. So let's just... Beautiful colour, isn't it? Get this into blue, now that I've established it. There we go. Isn't that a gorgeous depth of colour? absolutely beautiful. Okay, am I carrying anything on me? There is nothing here that I cannot replace if I have to. Sabre dance would be harsh, but it's not so bad coming into the nose, she says. Oh, please, please, please let this work. Wow. Now, the question is, this may sound odd, but am I actually here? Because sometimes I come through portals and I find that things like chests don't open. Let's go and see if the chest opens. Ooh. Right, here we are. A few bits to help women with this. Yep, chests open. Good. Point taken. There we are. All right. Let me think about this now. Blue line, so blue for ash. And this is karma. Will she mind? Because I am on this side. Um, let's hope not. Now they have put. They've put. Yeah, that's nice. Right. What I'm going to do then is put it. Yeah. There we go. So. Right. And they haven't taken it out to the end, have they? No. Okay, well, let's put our blue line down for a shanting. Okay. I'm certainly going to wrap it around here. I think I just have the right number. Good. And we need a sign. No problems there. So blue for a shantin. Um, where's the work? downstairs again. Okay. Someone's left something for Winnie. Let's have a look. Oh, I say. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I hope I'm, I spoiled a surprise there. That's shocking, isn't it? I'm very bad. Never mind. I know that Winnie doesn't yet make videos. So what have they put here? Magenta blue, so we need capitals, right. Blue line. Shantin. <laughs> and then I think can see the blue line from there. So we have a line guys, we have a blue line and JK has done some sterling work in that he has um, built a tunnel over on this side. If you remember on that side there's this tunnel from the back of my portal, uh, there's then a, a staircase down to open nether and you go around in a big circle um, but apparently you come out here so JK has built this tunnel, you come through here, follow it that way, 
and there is a staircase down exactly to the place I enter the nether portal. So that's another great step forwards. Now if JK is over here, I'm going to go and find his base and have a little look at where he is. Because um, at the moment he, he's sort of semi-lodging with me. And I would very much... Oh, look at this. He's taken it across. I never even thought of that. That's not going to work if you pave this, JK, but that's all right. So he's got a nice portal here. <laughs> Welcome, Matt. Yeah, he's like me. He parks stuff near his nether portals. Oh, gosh. I'm going to be loading... Ooh. Farms. Oh, he's found an island. Aha. JK's Atoll. Very nice, JK. That's obviously his mine. He's only just joined us. I wonder whether he needs anything to start up. What have you got, JK? Quite a lot, haven't you? He's got Ender Pearls. And he's got most of the stuff I've got anyway. Saddles, fishing rods. Yeah, he's he's a very, very experienced Minecraft player. So he gets himself up and running very quickly. Okay, so uh, wow. So we now know where JK is. So pleased to see you on the server, JK. I know you've had um, some family issues and I'm just delighted that they're starting to resolve themselves. I overlapped with um, MJ and Pitt yesterday. He was trying to find a nether fortress, so showed him the way and we're fighting the blazes. And little Lulu decides to have a little bit of a screaming fit, so he sort of disappeared and he must have respawned in the nether next to a blaze farm. And we come through, are we going to come through? This is really, oh, my, oh gosh, this is almost, um, I'm going to sleep straight away. It's still, let, oh gosh, I'm back in the net. Did you see that? I went back into the portal. Wow. Oh. Am I here? I am. Hmm. You're drawing me in. Yeah, that new tower. Oh, heck. I'd forgotten. I've um, left it a bit too long. I should have. Well, you can't sleep when you're rubber banding into a portal. Let's not beat ourselves up about that one. Well, aim is bad. Aha, better. Yeah. That tower I'm liking very much. Um, I'm going up again there for a second story. And it's quite... Um, I will sleep here. Will I get drawn into the portal? No. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I seem to be coming out of the portal when it's night all the time. So, it's really funny actually because JK had his um, plates on the outside. He's obviously worried about the portal shutting behind him um, so that he can get, not get the... Oh, you wretched little... It's a baby. Come here. Hey. Good. And again. Yeah, go, go, go. Right. Uh, he's obviously worried about the pigmen coming through. I never worry about the pigmen. What I worry about, I put mine on the outside. And this is for me, and I know that nothing can get up here. But I put mine on the inside. Um, so that the, I know when I go through, it always shuts behind me. And I know that the creepers can't stand here and open the gates. I mean, I don't think creepers can spawn here. But nonetheless, I don't want them to. So, guys, coming around here. Um, her, her. I've got a villager in there. I really must start somehow finding villagers. 
I just wanted to show you that this red sand um, machine has been brilliant because I've been able to uh, get enough to start getting some detailing on the pillars which look a lot better with some detail on them. We're moving forwards under here guys um, and this is looking really nice I think now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I thought that tower would be over the mine shaft, but it's not. I wonder whether to move that entrance to the mine. I might do that. I'm I'm thinking about it. And it's I've been putting so much details. You won't notice that this line of stairs weren't here. And this just finishes off this viaduct until I get some proper uh, supporting. But I'm waiting to... I'm, uh, the two farms I'm going to put under here and I'm waiting to put those farms in um, and waiting to sort of sort out how I do it before I actually uh, put the rest of the pillar supports in because I want to line them all up. I have started making the entrance a little bit more attractive with a bit more detail so all coming together well I think but I wanted to show you the roof, which brings me... Actually, I might do that in a separate video. Now, we are gradually getting this wonderful enclosed feelings that you get um, in the areas that are in the southern um, Mediterranean areas, I would call them, in Spain and places like that certainly in Spain and then North Africa and certainly the Gulf states, where houses are built with a blank outside facing wall and then inside you would get most of the shade, you would get the plants, you'd get the beautiful gardens. We do of course have our hanging gardens over there. Um, so I'm, this build is gradually, gradually beginning to take on the sort of Moorish feel that I want. I can't get Moorish arches, but the fact that it's built out of stone and uh, the fact that we've got these sort of shutters that slightly shade the sunlight. Um, I'm just loving this uh, build. A lot of work has gone into these fences. Um, you don't see this sort of thing, um, but it takes me quite a time to get the heights right so that you've got it draping down. It's a technique I learned from Dorp is to use fences like this. And they really do look great when you can't get proper archway things and they just add the detailing you need. So guys, um, on that note, um, I will say bye-bye.